Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Welcome to your monthly general reading for April 2020. Before I start, I'd like to thank everyone who have subscribed to my channel. Those of you who have liked, shared and commented. Um, those of you who would like to book a private reading with me, please do check my about page. All the information you need is there. I now have an ST shop and um, I've put all the links also in the description box if you want to book a reading. Once I hear from you, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So Capricorn, this month I have decided to change the, the spread. I'm going to, I've already shuffled the, the deck and then I'm going to select each card for one card for the main energy of each week and then we'll shuffle again and whichever one that um, jumps up for you will be the main concern of the whole month of um, April. Okay, so this is for um, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, okay? So, Tarot and Universe, please tell us what is coming for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of April. Okay. Okay, please. First week for Capricorn. Second week. And then fourth week. And then fifth week. Okay. So please tell us what's going to be the main concern for Capricorn in the month of April. Okay, this falling down. Okay, so we'll take that. And the bottom deck is justice. Okay. Okay. The first week we've got the Ace of Swords. Second week, the Emperor. Third week, Queen of Pentacles. Fourth week, Ten of Cups. Fifth week, the Star. Wow, Capricorn. This is also yes. Right. Let's give it a minute. I want to see which one I want to clarify for you, okay? Right. I feel April is going to be a, a wonderful month for you. Absolutely, absolutely. I think we'll start and then whilst we go through, I'll, I'll see if, I'll see which one I feel like clarifying, okay? So, in, in, in the month of April, Capricorn, this is going to be on your mind. This is a promotion. This is work success and work i think your main focus is going to be on getting promoted starting something um new but it's new within something that it's already old okay that is how i see it because it's like victory for you you are looking for promotion you are looking for recognition so yes um whatever you are looking for i feel you are going to be getting it and I feel it's more related with work, okay? And for some of you, I feel um, this could be with um, your love life here. There's some type of commitment coming in for you. But this commitment... I feel it's more to do with work. You will be committing to some type of work. Yes, I feel it to be a bit, a bit interesting, a bit interesting, a bit interesting. I feel the commitment will come from you, okay? Yes, you have to put in more effort to get your goal, your six of wands. 
And in the first week, you've got clarity, new way of thinking, new beginning. Okay? Because you've got this six petals here and you've got another six here. So first week, I feel something brand new is going to be presented to you. And also you're going to have a clear mind of thinking. And yes, this, this is something new that is going to make you really, really happy. Because here you've got justice at the bottom of the deck. And you've got your six of wands here. So um, this is going to be a month of success for you, okay? Anything you're looking for, whether it's court decision, whatever it is, it is coming in your favor. Anything to do with document, it is coming in your favor. Everything is going to, you are going to be victorious, okay? I feel like you have no one to, to contest with. Here you go, in the first week. I feel this is more to do with your, your clear thinking. And also the universe is putting something awesome into your, your life. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I still feel like something is missing. Okay, we carry on. In the second week, we've got the emperor. This is stability. This is security. I also feel in the second week of April, you'll be working really, really hard. You'll be working harder than you normally would. Okay. This is Aries energy. And I feel like the Aries energy is going to push you um, to, so wherever your Mars is, if you've got Mars in your chart, look at where Mars is. And I feel it's going to be pushing you to be doing more work um and i'm also connecting it with your fourth week because this is four and this is your fourth week okay well i'll we come back to that yeah so i also feel for some of you um it is work but for also some of you is to do with your family life having security in your family having security in your family life and that is how I'm feeling here. Okay. It is certainly connected to your environment, your home environment. This card is, that's how I'm feeling here. Whatever you are, you, you were hoping to get, um, your home environment is going to be of importance to you. And I feel you're going to work much harder than you normally would do, you know, I feel you put in more energy than you normally would do. I mean, I mean, Capricorn, you are hardworking. So I don't know how much more hardworking you want to do. Perhaps because of the, uh, you know, the crisis going on, you might want to work much harder to create a more stable environment to secure, uh, a, a, you know, uh, a future for yourself than you feel you are doing right now. So that's how I feel the second week is doing, um, is looking like for you. And then of course, in the third week, we've got the queen of pentacles with the queen of pentacles here. I feel for some of you, um, this is your energy. Okay. This is a Capricorn, right? And, um, you will be looking at your, you know, your finances in a different way in, in the sense that you will be putting more more of your finances into your home and i feel you'll be looking after your health i feel that is what is going on you know um anytime i see this woman i see or i see this card this queen of pentacles what comes into my mind is health happiness and home security that is how i often feel with this queen of pentacles yes i feel you'll be eating um, you'll be looking after your health, you're eating right, making sure that you don't over, over indulge, you know, I feel you, you'll be more interested in, um, your health more than ever before. Yes. So I feel like, yeah, in the month of April, yes, you are going to be very, very concerned about your physical looks. 
Yes, Capricorn. That's how I'm feeling here. Right, so let's clarify um, the star, okay? I'm drawn to the Ten of Cups, but I feel the star. Please, let's clarify the star for Capricorn. Okay. One more for this for the Ten of Cups. Right. Wow, that's interesting. Please, one more for the Ten of Cups. Okay. Whoa, look at that. You know, like I said, I felt like this is connected to this one. You'll be working hard for the security of your home environment. And there you go. You got Ten of Cups again and a Ten of Swords for your fourth week. Yes. Yes, 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 Capricorn. So, having this um, Ten of Cups and the Ten of Swords clarifying your fourth week, you know, but yes, I, I still feel like something that you need to work on very very hard in the second week for your family for for long term because like i said i felt like you you are working much harder to um make sure you get more security than ever before and i also feel like having this 10 of swords here there is there is some stuff going on Okay, and what uh, whatever is going on here, um, you are going to find a resolution in a positive way. Okay, looking at the the justice card here. Because if even you are having issues in your family, the outcome is going to be good. Because it's going to be victorious. That is how I'm seeing it here. Okay. Yes, because I, I felt like. Number four is connected to your fourth week. And so whatever you are feeling, whatever pressure you are feeling, um, yes, it has something, it certainly has something to do with your, your home life. Okay. Whether um, you are having conflict, arguments, whatever it is, it's going to be in your favor. There's going to be a positive outcome. And there's going to be a positive resolution. Okay, because in your first week, you've got clear thinking and you've also got justice here. Okay, yes. So just like I said, so in the fifth week, you've got the star and clarifying that is the nine of cups, which is your wish. So like I said, your, you know, your health, your looks, everything is going to be good for you and yes in the fifth week you will be feeling absolutely on top of the world you will be okay because look at that nobody is going to compete with you nobody is going to because you're already a winner i mean look at all these cards is there anything else i should say so capricorn um April is going to be a good month for you, okay? It's going to be a good month for you. Month of victory, month of security. And you are getting some fresh way of thinking. And everything is going to go in your favor. So, be mindful of the fourth week, okay? And yes, take, up, take care of your health. And I, I, I personally think you don't have to worry too much. Okay, so I hope this has been insightful for you. Um, I will leave the reading here. I will see you next month or you will see me next month.